Hey, Adam Lee Von Brown here. I just wrote a new poem. Literally just wrote it in about five minutes. I'd like to read it for you. <clears throat> here it goes. Adam, go with the nice people now. They're here to help. What people? Where am I, Mom? Just go with the nice people, Adam, and you will be okay. Three days of wandering around the city, confused, seemingly half-blinded, with my own erratic thinking. It led to this day at home, when my psychosis took full control. I hear voices. I hear voices. The nice people came up to me. What are they saying? I can't breathe very well, and they won't leave me alone. Yes, yes, but what are they saying? I don't know what's going on. I was here, and now I'm outside, and they won't leave me alone. Adam, what are the voices saying to you? They are saying sexual innuendos and telling me that I need to leave everyone I know. Are they telling you to hurt yourself, cut yourself, burn yourself? I don't know. You're just hearing them. I'm just hearing them, and... I, I need to leave everyone alone and run. Adam, this is serious. Tell us if they're telling you to hurt yourself or someone else. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sh We need an ejectable over here, stat. We have a violent individual. But what? What's going on? I don't know what's happening. Ow, my leg. What are you doing? I need to run. Just go with the nice people, Adam. Don't ask questions. Just go with the nice people and you will be okay. I want my freedom back. I want my independence back. I don't want to be caged. Mr. Brown, calm down before we have to take more serious precautions. But I'm not sick. Why are you after me? Are you them? The people who have been talking in my ears for the past two months? You're them, aren't you? The government is out to get me. Adam, are you okay? Do you need some water? Damn it, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? You're being held in a psychiatric unit because we believe you may be a threat to yourself or others. You cannot leave until we've deemed you safe. You can contact a lawyer once you're out if you think this is a mistake, but not now because we don't allow phones here. Huddling to the corner is what I have now. They have taken everything, but they cannot take this corner. They will not take this corner. This is my corner. Thank you. Basically, my philosophy on poetry is that poetry is a vehicle of emotion between you and your reader, and it's up to you, the poet, to make that vehicle a crashing car.